Isn't she lovely? Isn't she wonderful? Is this not the prettiest glow kit? you've ever seen. What's up my loves? Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Lizelle and today's video is one that I'm super excited about because I've been waiting to find the time to do this for you guys. I'm going to be doing a first impressions on the Anastasia Nicole Guerrero glow kit and oh my goodness guys i'm so excited to do this low key i'm a little bit late to the party i did actually receive this about two weeks ago as soon as this was available to purchase online i was on that right quick and i received it a couple of weeks ago and i put it to the side i was like okay i'm not going to touch this until i can film my first impressions. So that's exactly what I'm gonna be doing today. I'm pretty much going to be testing this bad boy out. So let me just, love doing that. <laughs> Can we just read the packaging? Like, come on, give it to me. I love that holographic font that it's got going on. I just love it. And of course, let us open it up. Ooh, look at that. Oh my goodness. Did you see my face instantly light up? Like that is how much joy highlighters bring me but anyways so backstory to this i just kind of wanted to give my opinion on it when i first saw the first ever sneak peeks of this i was like god damn like i need that i don't know exactly what it is but i know that i need it because i had seen nicole actually do like a snapchat sneak peek of it and everybody was like hype as like we we're all excited about it but then all these photos started coming out of the palette in normal daylight and to be honest when i saw those pictures i was like wow that's actually like not what i expected it to look like because when you do look at this and see side by side what it looks like under like a flashlight as opposed to general daylight it does look really really different but nonetheless i was like okay this is very unique like the colors typically i would not go for this when it comes to highlighters i'm very much so like a champagne light gold kind of girl when it comes to highlights this is definitely like very different for me it's got that pink peachy undertone going on so i was like you know what i'm gonna support my girl i'm gonna get it anyway and i'm so glad that i did even though i haven't tested this out i'm already like hyped as about it i'm so excited <laughs> also another reason as to why i wasn't sure whether i really wanted to get it is because anastasia came out with this this is their ultimate glow kit like this is definitely speaking to me on many levels like this is my kind of highlight palette all the gold but in saying that it was very chunky like i do like it but it is definitely a lot more chunky as opposed to other highlighters that i have so i don't really reach for this that much and the fact that these two look very similar in layout i was a little bit skeptical as to whether the formula of these would be the same as those because let's face it not everybody was happy with the formula that the ultimate glow kit had so i'm excited to put this to the test i'm just gonna put it on my face we're just gonna get right into it so I have here a clean highlighter brush. You guys, if you don't have this brush, what are you doing? This is the Anastasia A23 highlighter brush. I swear, use this for any highlighter and it will amp it up times 100. Something about this brush, I don't know what it is, but it just makes my highlighters look so much more poppin' than when I use any other brush. But anyway, it's not about that, it's about this here. Which color should I pick first? I'm just gonna put them all on my face and we'll see how it goes. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Okay, I'm gonna try out Forever Young. It doesn't look chunky when I dip my brush into it. I forgot to tell you, I have not even touched the palette with my fingertips so this is it we're gonna do this Ooh! oh my god that's like hardly anything and i'm already shook god damn that is so pretty oh my goodness okay forever young i love you oh jeez check the head tilt i got going on though really really tilting it <laughs> Oh, that's so pretty. I'm just gonna continue to unpack it all. Yes, give it to me. That's intense, guys. Like, I, do you see this? Is this translating through the camera right now? Because it looks freaking amazing on my screen. So Forever Young was definitely a success. I'm gonna try Daydream now. It's the orange looking one, peachy orange looking one. Cause this is totally something I wouldn't go for. So let's just put this on this side. Oh, that's cute. 
I feel like this one kind of blends into my skin a little better in the sense like the color of it just blend into my skin more as you can see like it is showing up but this side though like this side next up I'm gonna take a bit of kitty cat and I'm gonna pack it on top of this and see what happens how this transforms that definitely has more of a pinky undertone as it does in the pen, like so it should. Next up, I'm going to mix Glow Getter and 143 together. Glow Getter and 143 are definitely like my kind of shades. Like they've got that gold going on. I'm literally just layering everything upon everything. Put some on my nose. You know how I like it. I am so impressed, guys. Like, what the heck? Let me just spray some Fix Plus onto my face so it kind of melts into the skin a little more. My number one tip when it comes to applying highlighter, if you want it to really become one with your skin, take some Fix Plus or even just like, oh, I swear the nozzle on this is just crazy sometimes. Um, but just take some Fix Plus and spray it onto your face. I just find that this really helps the product to melt into the skin and it becomes like... I don't know how to explain it, no words, but it just makes it look like one with your skin. Nicole Guerrero, you did the damn thing. The formula is definitely nothing like the Ultimate Glow Kit. Like, I still do like the Ultimate Glow Kit. I like the colors that it has to offer, but the formula is a tad bit too chunky for me. I definitely favor the formula of this more so than the Ultimate Glow Kit that Anastasia came out with. Like, I can't get over this. I'm still like... I'm still like tilting my head, catching it in that light. <laughs> so I'm going to do some swatches of these on my wrist. First up, I'm gonna take Forever Lit. I didn't actually put this one on my face. <gasps> Sorry, that was so dramatic, but are you kidding? That is so pretty, oh my goodness, dang. And I love like the bluish kind of undertone that it has going on. Next up, I'm going to take Glow Getter. I love that name. Oh. You're joking. This one is 143. It's funny because whenever I hear like 143, I always think of Nicole because she's always said that to her subbies and I just, I think it's awesome that she included that within the palette. That is amazing. Oh my goodness. Why does my face look so angry right now? It's like I'm offended. I'm offended at how pretty these are. I'm gonna take Kitty Cat. It is a teensy bit more chunky off the bat. That's just what I noticed but not bad. Forever Young, oh. And then, last one, Daydream. Daydream is slightly chunky as well, just like Kitty Cat was, but nonetheless, that is beautiful. I'm just looking at my face now after the setting spray, the MAC Fix Plus, sorry, has settled into my skin. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I do have that like slight pink undertone going on, and that's because I did use Kitty Cat and Daydream on this side of my face, so. Is that what I did? Yeah. So I would probably use those like more as blush choppers. I totally have been into doing that lately is putting like shimmery things on top of my blushes. So I would totally use these two for blush toppers and I can see myself just packing this onto my face, just bathing in this every single day. And I feel like this would be amazing for an inner corner highlight. Oh. So my verdict is first impressions. Of course I love it. Like. You guys already knew that I was gonna love this. I already knew that I was gonna love this even before I touched it. I'm just so impressed with the formula and I'm so proud of Nicole for doing what she did. Congratulations to Nicole for having an amazing collaboration with Anastasia Beverly Hills. Like that's such an achievement and I love seeing YouTubers just do great things. It just makes me feel really proud. Like, I don't know. <laughs> Plus, I've been watching Nicole for the longest time. To be honest, I actually had red hair back in the day and it was totally inspired by her. I remember I was watching her video on how like she colored her hair red and I went out to the store and bought the exact same stuff and that day I colored my hair red. So yes, I did have bright red hair at one point. If you are thinking about getting this, like you won't regret it. No joke, you won't regret it. There are six shades in here it is forty dollars for those of you in the us it is a little higher for us here in australia because of the conversion rate but regardless you're getting six highlighters in one palette and it is definitely well worth every cent so that is it for this video i really just wanted to do a quick little first impressions on that glow kit i was so excited to receive it and i really held off on trying it out until i could show you guys me trying it for the first 
first time. Let me know what your thoughts are down below in the comments. If you did enjoy this video or you